Kenek Chama Yakubu Mahmoud is desperately begging prominent Igbo men to intercede on his behalf to beg Pitobi for forgiveness. Labour Party won fair and square. Hmm. Yes, sir, this is the feelers that uh, we are getting. Of course, Nigerians have been seeing how INEC has been acting, you know, at the tribunal and the back and forth between INEC and Labour Party. Understand that the uh, Labour Party are still not satisfied according to what court ordered INEC to give to them all the documents and for them to view and what have you. And INEC told the old world again that, oh, yeah, it's going to cooperate, cooperate with the Labour Party, every document that they need, that they will be shown. But still today, it's like they're just uh, cherry-picking what and what to show them or not. You know, at the time, they came out and told us that it was a, uh, that Obi or Labour Party could not pay 1.5 million. They were supposed to pay money before those documents that could be made known to them or could be released to them. But if um Labour Party came out and said that is not true, that that is not correct at all. That INEC has been avoiding them all this while. But at least they managed to get about six uh, documents from six states. A document from six states. And for, unfortunately, they still got to court. We found out that uh, INEC denied giving them some of the documents or some of the results that the uh, Labour Party tendered at the tribunal. So that is where they have been, you know, the argument, you know, started from. Also, even some of the documents that Ewanek agreed that they gave to Labour Party, the seat told the tribunal, the court, not to accept them. And they are like, ah, why we, why is it that you don't want us to accept it? So they even protested against that. Now we've been seeing, oh, especially the result from the River State, it is really glaring that a lot of shady things were done. And you could understand the way at which uh, this uh, whole thing came from. And to our greatest surprise, one of the senior lawyer, senior advocates of uh, in Nigeria, uh, Clark, uh, Robert Clark, telling us that uh, INEC has the final say. And they are telling us that uh, the manner at which uh, INEC declared Tinumbu winner and the process they took, that they can as well take any, any whatever, any process that they deem fit really but they were not they didn't tell nigerians because it was a law that must be followed they would have just like okay there's no need and like nigerians would have understood but you came out and the uh, law was passed at the national assembly and all of a sudden and you are calling mutilated uh, results and you expect people to take it how can the world take us serious if senior advocates of nigeria will come out and be defending that and that's why even the labor party they said they are against, they want to know the process that produced Tinubu. That is what they are saying. And you are coming out. If there's no process, everybody can do whatever they like, even when there's law. It is really, really unfortunate. Well, like we said, the feelers we are getting now is that uh, the so called uh, chairman, Mahmoud, desperately begging prominent women to inter intercede and ask a pizza be for forgiveness. Of course, it might be put in that line. We have been seeing a lot of, even those who said, go to court, go to court. They will still come out and say, oh, though there's no point for you to go to court. You came third. Why should you be talking about a, a mandate stolen? Go and sit down. This and that. Their case is already in court. So what do you expect? What do you expect? And that was that was why they planted this uh, Lamidi and Papa, And they did all they could do. Yet they could not even get get through. So it is evident that they planted those people because you can't tell me you are in a party just because you have uh, some rancors and because you feel some things in your party, the next thing you are now against the party. So that means you are not a, you are not a member of that party. It shows that you are not even interested in the party winning. And everything Lamidi and Arabambi have done, the way they've acted and behaved, Nigerians already know the stuff they are made of. Even before now, people were like, ah, it's not possible. It's not possible. And they claim that he's been in the party for 21 years. If you have been in the party for 21 years, nobody knows the party. The party was just uh, dormant today. All of a sudden, some people make it known and they worked for it and they came out with something tangible. All of a sudden, you are now angry that uh, some people want to take over the party. Did you just create the party for creating sick? Well, everyone who is calling evil good. Definitely, they will reap uh, what they 
are sowing or what they have sown. Well, if God calls you to define yourself for this statement, can you acknowledge the call or you prefer detention? Go back to school and read more and study the use of a language. Some people are like, oh, how can that be? It's not so. It is so. Oh, um, somebody posted a, this, this uh, Austin, oh, I before. Steady not say that the uh, INEC is begging Igbo people. So, and somebody has said, Oh, if you are being asked now to come and defend this thing in court, the same thing INEC did go and defend yourself in court. You are big, making excuses. You see, uh, those people, these people that are always on the side of a uh, on the wrong side, they would say something even when they're on the wrong side. They prefer they, they believe that they are the ones saying the truth. If other people say something, they will begin to threaten them here and there, just like uh, Asari Doku, but not threatening the. NLC, a constituted authority, NLC saying that they don't have rights to protest. Ha! Huh? That is going to send its boys, they are going to do this, they are going to do that. You, who are you? That you tell them not to protest. This is APC, APC's uh, antecedent. Since they came on board, if you protest, they see protest as, a, as, a, as an offense, an illegal thing. That is how they want to make it. But anybody who is protesting, to favor them, they won't say anything. But you are protesting that you don't like what they are doing. The next thing they will begin to say terrorism, treason, and all of that. I've never seen this kind of people that come with they came with propaganda, and that is the propaganda they are using against a uh, Peter B. They say Peter B as a because the person who is a leader of the um NLC is an Igbo man, TUC is an Igbo man. And somebody is asking, so all me that means all the workers in Nigerians are Igbos because that is the narrative these guys are painting. They are painting a very, very bad uh, uh, narrative out there. Yes. I, I have warned you to stop doing drugs because it is good for, it's not good for you. Uh, will you listen to what you have said? Now, Bulu Bala, your president, will really take drugs. But for me, no alcohol, not even ordinary cigarettes. Okay. From genuine and correct source. Somebody say, Oh, where did you get your source from? So, from genuine and correct source. How true is this? Uh, is it not? Is it not? Have we not seen a lot of people? <laughs> is it uh, something that you are going to be asking that uh, is it true? If they don't do that, what do you think will happen? Because they believe that uh, they can use all manner of things to quench the case, but it's not, it's not looking like that. It's not looking like that. Because if they believe that uh, oh the every the power all the power in the country has been given to somebody that there's nothing and even this uh, Robert Clark who is a senior man, very elderly man, senior advocate of Nigeria, telling us that uh, whatever uh, power that has been given to the so-called president stands, no matter what anybody does, anything cannot be changed. Oh, some people have the opinion that say uh, once you're a president, you cannot be removed. And it has not happened before. And people are saying, it is not true. You can't say it has not happened before. It has happened. And people have given reference to that. Yes. I have never attended any beer parlor in the last 25 years. Okay, the person that posted this, they are saying, oh, the person must be acting under the influence of alcohol or drug. And the person say, oh, I have never done all of those things. So... If you don't believe it, that is your own cup of tea. Even the protest, you say you don't want it. So you want to tell somebody that, hey, where did you get the source that uh, Asari Dupuro said is going to go after those, after those who are planning to protest? Or some of the people who said, we have agreed, that Nigerians have agreed to the this issue of a first subsidy. And people are asking, how? Agree from where to where? It's not possible. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.